Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to use Handbrake to compress your edits. Why would you want to compress them? Well, firstly, it cuts down the file size of your edit, which can actually save quite a lot of storage on your hard drive. And secondly, the quality of your posts might actually look better. Many platforms such as Instagram, YouTube and TikTok have very aggressive compression algorithms. So if you compress your edits beforehand, they don't have to do the work and potentially ruin the quality. And this is exactly how people upload their edits without making it look distorted or blurry. So first of all, what you want to do is open Handbrake. The edit that I am using as an example is currently 166 MB. So I'm just going to drag and drop it onto Handbrake like so. Now I'm going to leave two presets for Handbrake in the description below. These are my settings, or should I say these include my settings and you want to download the one depending on your graphics card. So the first one is for Nvidia graphics cards. So if you have a GTX card or RTX card, the other one is for those who don't have a Nvidia graphics card. So if you either don't have one at all, or if you have an AMD graphics card, you want to use this second preset. The difference between the two is that it's much quicker to encode using the Nvidia preset. However, don't worry too much. You're going to wait either way. So I've got an Nvidia card, so I'm going to select the top one. Oh, and to actually import these presets, you want to head over to presets at the top and select import from file. Then you want to select the preset of your choice and click on open. Next, you want to go through these tabs here and make any adjustments. For example, if there were any subtitles included and you didn't want it, click on clear. That's going to remove them. And if you also do want to go for a higher audio bit rate, you can change it. So by default, it's 160. You can go all the way up to 320 if you like, but of course it depends on your your source. If it's not already 320, that's not going to magically increase the bitrate. So just keep that in mind. But yeah, I'm just going to stick to what was it 160. I think it's fine. Then head over to video. I've already set everything for you. But in some cases, the quality might not turn out looking as good as you hoped. And that problem mostly stems from this part here, which is the quality. So what you want to do is slightly drag it to the right. Just click and drag it until you see the number decrease. You obviously want to get it away from lower quality and get higher quality quality so decreasing the amount might help and if that doesn't work either change the encoder level to something high like 4.1 or 5.1 i've set it to auto because that usually works and also the encoder presets if it's taking way too long to encode then you can slide it up However, it will result in a larger file size, which is exactly why I put it to slower, not slowest. That would take a bit too long and I don't think it's worth it. So I think this is a nice balance. So again, if it's taking too long, increase it. However, I'm going to stick to slower and everything else you can pretty much leave it. Although I have to say, if you are posting on TikTok or Instagram, please downscale your edits if it's in 2K or 4K. You're just wasting your time and also probably going to ruin the quality of your edits if it's above 1080p. So just use this scaled size option to downscale it. So for example, I'm just going to put 1080p for the second value. Obviously this would depend on your aspect ratio, but the idea is to downscale it to 1080p and not any higher. If you post on YouTube, however, that is okay. Instagram, TikTok, and anything similar, don't go above 1080p. And that's pretty much it. You just need to type in your save location or just uh, use the browse button. I think that'll be easier. And then click start encode at the top. And depending on your PC specs, this may take a while. Mine's only taking about 10 seconds, which is pretty good. And here is the final result. So it's about 56 MB. It's cut down the file size by quite a lot, but what we need to do is actually check the edits to see if it's okay. I'm also going to just quickly rename it just so you know that it's the upscaled version and I'm going to play it. And here it is, there is almost no, actually there is no difference at all in terms of quality, only ever so slightly because I've downscaled it, which you don't have to do, especially if it's already at 1080p, but yeah, that's pretty much all you have to do. Monthly supporters, thank you so very much as always for your continued support. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace.